It's our story. Kathy Martinez, Berkeley, California. Well, the reason why a film like this should be made, in my opinion, is because unlike other minorities, um, for better or for worse, and mostly it's not by, by choice, the disability community slash minority is one that can be joined. And usually people don't choose to join it. The people usually become um, disabled as adults. Um, usually they're not born disabled like people like myself. So uh, after you become disabled, um, I think, or after a person becomes disabled, they then wonder, well, why are things so difficult? Um, and that's because disability has specifically, or has traditionally been either ignored or treated as a medical issue, um, not really treated as a social issue. And because our society um, is, has changed, and in, at least we have a, in this country, um, you know, for many years we had, or just for many years civil rights w were important. Um, and I think that disability rights um, is really part of a car, is a car on the train of civil rights. And when people, people are living longer, they're gonna need information about disability. Uh, and not just about the medical part or the financial part, but what is the history of the disability rights movement? Who were the players? How do you find out information? You know, what were the tenants of the, of the original independent living movement? Um, how has it changed? How has the independent living movement adapted to, diff to include different cultures? How is the independent living movement spreading around the world? How are, how are uh, developing countries adapting the independent living movement? Um, I think as, our, as this society ages, we will, we will come to depend more and more on the successes of the disability rights movement and on not just the physical successes like accessible ramps and big button phones, but the, at hopefully the attitudinal changes that having disabled people in the community has brought about. So that when folks are older, when they become disabled in a car accident, they w won't have as much trouble um, being well, they won't have as much trouble getting in and out of buildings, having access to information, um, or I guess more importantly, have as much trouble being accepted back into society um, as the person they are, as opposed to the quote, a person with a quote disability. So I, I guess the importance of this film is to bring to light the history of a movement um, that has really had major impact on our society, and most people don't know how that movement generate, uh, was, was originated, who was involved, and how, you know, these buildings just didn't grow ramps, you know? Um, th these ramps and these curb ramps and these audible street signals are there because a lot of people fought very hard to get those changes. And as I said before, my hope is that the change will spread beyond just physical, um, physical things like ramps and and um, audible street signals, and go more toward attitudinal and um, and go more in attitudinal and, and behavioral directions. So that when a person wants to get a job, it's not a shock to an employer. The It's Our Story Project is a national effort to make disability history public and accessible. Visit us at www.itsourstory.org or on the It's Our Story Project YouTube channel.